Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Blackburn Rovers, and they take on Fulham. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. He really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, there are a few better players in the air. He's so dangerous when balls come into the box, so expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. And here's the lineup for Blackburn Rovers. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And this is the team Fulham have selected. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And so the battle commences. Cabano. Robinson. Losing possession here. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. The referee is given a corner. <laughs> Playing it in, and the danger still on. Wilson. Reed and giving the ball away. Ben Brereson. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Joe Rothwell. Oh, surely. Could be. Well, given the position he found himself in, he really should be testing the keeper. Superb opportunity squandered. Atarabayo. Dennis Odoi. Now with Wilson. Bobby Reid, Odoi, the tackle completely mistimed and you would expect a booking under the circumstances and following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there, that was always going to be a booking. He's played it short here. Crossing possibilities. Wilson. Sebi. Reed. Wilson. Opportunity here. In it goes. 
The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Superbly read and executed. Alexander Mitrovic. Harry Wilson. And Mitrovic. Reed keeping possession of the ball with authority. Mitrovic. And space to cross it. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Able to get a body in the way. Reed. Promising possession, this. So a throw in here. Odoi. Bobby Reed. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Oh, but they've lost it now. Bobby Reed. Wilson. Mitrovic. In position. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. And a short corner, let's see. Harry Wilson. Cuts it back. Tim Ream, Mitrovic. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Rarison. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Dennis Odoi. That is that for the first half here. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Niambe. Travis. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Wilson, Mitrovic, and Reed with it. Wilson, Seri, Wilson. Good strength to keep the ball, and options in the centre. Top class defending. Travis. 
useful looking position you've got to say well they continue their push for the equaliser but definitely not forcing it and it's in all square again what a match this is turning out to be Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. So the ball is rolling again at one all. 30 minutes left for play. To the owner of the red hatchback blocking the emergency exit, please return to your vehicle immediately. Harrison Reed. And Reed with it. A super tackle, and they've won possession. Ben Brereton. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Bobby Reid. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Reid. Could be. What a save. And able to get a body in the way. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. 21, John Buckley, to be replaced by number four, Bradley Johnson. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, not quite accurate enough. Well, his movement was good, he attacked it well, but he just got underneath it. Well, Fulham have certainly controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes, as you can see, and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. Now, let's see what they can do here. And a chance for them to notch in front. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Sebi. Reid now. On the attack in the closing phase. And room now out on the flank. Sam Gallagher. Lewis Travis. Johnson. And he read it well, intercepting it. 
What can they do from here? Mitrovic. Going well. Wilson. Now the attack fizzled out. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Space and time for the cross. Liambe. Ben Brereson. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.